Hi there, for those who don't know me, my name is Edward Thiegston. Um, I've been asked by uh, Star Pubs to do a quick uh, presentation on yield uh, and wastage within pubs. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have a fairly fun, hopefully pretty interactive um, uh, session on thinking about your pub. So just very quickly, hopefully you'll be able to see this. Um, it's got the flip chart just basically working out what yield means. 24 J2Os I've bought, 24 J2Os being sold, I have got 100% yield. I'm sure you all will know that and can work it out. However, interestingly, let's have a look at the keg bit. So that's lagers and ciders. 88 pint keg I've bought. How many pints should I actually sell? Okay, I've got a number of different answers here, and I'm sure some of you have already pointed out the right answer. Um, but actually, you may be, some of you may be surprised, actually it is 92 pints. Now, how the hell do I work that one out? Well, it's very simple, guys, is that if my dispense system is working properly, then I should be able to pour beer exactly with the prescribed 5% head, 5% head, 5% head. If you add all the 5% heads up, then I should be able to actually deliver 92 pints out of an 88 pint container. Now, I appreciate that's probably pretty unrealistic because that is 105%. Actually, if you'd certainly still want to be getting something like 90 to 92 pints out of a 88 pint keg. OK, so the question is, is are you able to do that? If not, why not? Because why is it? Why are you having problems? Is it because the system's not set up? Is it because the cellar temperature is not right? So there's all sorts of different reasons and it might not necessarily be your fault. Um, it may be other systems. Also, what I need to be also doing is looking at the yield side here, but I'm now looking at cask ale. So I'm looking at a 72 pint container. So Firkin. How many pints should I have bought? So I bought 72 pints. How many pints should I sell? 65, 68 or 73? Now, there's quite a bit of sediment inside a car scale, so a lot of people start to heading down here. But actually, in theory, if you get everything right, you should be actually able to deliver above 100%, i.e. above um, 72 pints, and in this case, 73. Certainly, that's what I should be aiming for as a standard, because that's something that we should all be able to do.